Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a review on Intercontinental Perth. We've booked this hotel via American Express FHR booking program. FHR is the abbreviation of Fine Hotels Plus Resorts program. It is an exclusive hotel pro booking program that offers quite a few benefits for hotel stays booked through it. Within Australia, it's only available to Platinum Card, Business Platinum Card, and Centurion Card members. There are several benefits such as early check in and late check out room upgrade and often a uh, hundred US dollars credit also I am an IHG ambassador just a brief introduction that IHG ambassador is a 200 US dollars paid hotel program with a number of benefits specific to Intercontinental's line of luxury hotels globally therefore I should receive 25 US dollars uh, and guaranteed one category room upgrade upon arrival We've booked one king bed cozy room for tonight. We'll see how it goes. And let's check out which room we will get and how much money we would spend inventory. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, give us a thumb up or leave a comment below. Thank you very much for your support and uh, let's get started. Ta-da, we are here now. Upside the hotel, there's an Apple store there. And also a uh, price line from C up there. It's very convenient. And also uh, standing opposite the hotel. Let's have a look. Alrighty, uh, we're gonna walk into the hotel and we're gonna check in shortly. Alright, so as we can see on the left hand side there's a table and two chairs. Um, yeah, I will see this light is quite fancy, isn't it? And the lobby is quite spacey and it's quite quiet today. Not too many people to check in on Sunday. Okay, let's go to level 6. It's just a little bit walk. Okay, on the right, no, actually on the left side, 0604, that's our room. Luckily our room has been upgraded from a Kimbet Cozy room to a Kimbet City View room, which is probably like $20 more than our original room, but it's better than nothing. There's a very huge building wardrobe. An espresso coffee machine, some coffee capsules, a kettle, some coffee mugs, tea bags from T2. This one is a safe. Nothing there. I really love this. It's very brilliant, isn't it? Very smart design. And some more like uh, drink snacks. Some glasses up there. And yes, more cabinets. See? iron and I think this one is the flashlight which is amazing and two rolls so this is the bathroom we have a separate toilet Oh, 
but it's more entirely and uh, there's no solitary bin inside the toilet which I think is not convenient a uh, small washing basin and two large bottles 450 ml of hand wash and body lotion here it's a very standard like toilet nothing quite special um, they put everything quite organized there which is good it's a little box and something inside it and hair dryer the nails So we have a separate uh, shower room This one And those luxury amenities We have uh, 450 ml hair shampoo Hair conditioner and body wash. Okay, two slippers. Okay. And a laundry bag. This is a king size, uh, king size bed. Okay, and a Samsung TV. It's a very cute uh, remote control box. I found this is like super convenient. It has different USB cables here itself. So in case you forget your USB thing, so it has a and you can put your phone there. One table and this is a city view. I'm not sure how you say this, but for me this is not really a view. Um I don't like it. One thing I have to mention is that there's no parking on site at this hotel. However, this hotel has a uh, partnership with the Wilson's Car Park at the Central Park Tower. Since it's happened to be a Sunday today, so we booked the parking with Wilson's Car Park straight away and it only cost us $19 per night. However, it would cost us like um, $35 if we do it with the hotel. So my advice would be like better check the uh, car park rate on the day of your arrival so it might save you some money. Hi everyone, it's 4.30. Um, after three hours we've checked in and someone just knocked the door and handed me this lovely welcome card from the hotel manager. And also we've received a uh, chocolate bar. This is made um, made in Margaret River and also we've got this very large bottle of water Vanita. This is very lovely and I'm very thirsty. I'm gonna have a sip. Just water. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh... 
Yep, that's right. We are back to the same restaurant for the dinner. Not that there are no other good restaurants around this area, just because this restaurant is too good. We really want to try everything on the menu. And we've been this restaurant like three years ago, and we still love it. We had our breakfast at this restaurant as it was included in our rate, thankfully. The breakfast bread was incredibly limited and filled more of a holiday in breakfast than an intercontinental one. Apparently, you can make your own fresh juices here. They've also got bacon, some sausages, And there are some like pastries there. That's pretty much the whole review of this hotel. We've spent like $269 in total, which include a one stay at the Kimbet City View Room, two complimentary drinks, two complimentary breakfasts, two meals at the restaurant, and one complimentary bottle of water. It was a very good experience. Just one thing to add from a female's perspective, it would be great if they could add a sanitary bin beside the toilet. Thanks for your watching and I will have a review on Pullman Hotel at Bunker Bay Resort in my next video. If you think this is useful, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, give us a thumb up or leave a comment below. I'll see you all in the next video very soon. Bye!